watched the George Floyd documentary that Candace Owens put up. One of the things that his two roommates said was, they want a tall guy like me. They want a tall guy like me. And the day when he died, he said a prayer for, you know, eight minutes. Mm -hmm. He said a prayer for eight minutes. They hit him with the fentanyl. If you look, the, the guy's knee wasn't even on his neck like that. When he said, mama, mama his, is his girlfriend. They said he screamed for his mama. Mama was his girlfriend. It's in the documentary. But something that hit me, that fucked me up when I was watching the documentary, and it said they want a tall guy like me. When I looked at that image of him, this tall black dude with the bald head, he reminded me of somebody else. Who do you think he reminded me of? Virgil. He reminded me of Virgil. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I'm not finna cry in front of y'all because that's how they get me, right? All right? But I know that we lost him. And I know that this white company, Louis Vuitton, is now making statues of him, like right. as a martyr. And we don't know why exactly. We say it's cancer. But I yeah. mean, I mean, um, mm -hmm. I, I want to be careful with this subject because. Wait a second, but tell me, mm -hmm. could you even really mm -hmm. run this interview? Because Mav yeah. didn't run my interview. Right. You know what I'm saying? They blocked me out. The Jewish media blocked me out. This shit lit, right? I'm lit, right? Mm -hmm. I'm lit. Mm -hmm. I'm lit. You know what I'm saying? JP Morgan, I put $140 million mm -hmm. into JP Morgan and they treated me like shit. So if JP Morgan Chase is treating me like that, how they treating the rest no, of y'all? That's outrageous. Gangster, yeah. nah, gangster. And it's, it's murderers with Chase accounts. Yeah. Gangster. That's what I'm saying. I am outraged. Mm -hmm. By the time people always they want to calm it down. Because no matter what, you didn't yeah. break no law. I didn't break a law. No matter I didn't break what, a law. Why should be a judge or jury on right. anything? But this is it's, it's like a social contract. Candace Owens has a word for him. Forget it. But it's basically like they told Candace Owens she couldn't hang out with me. You know I'm. Wow. They told her that, bro. I ain't gonna lie. After watching this interview, bro, I feel like Kanye is not, like, as crazy as we think he is. I feel like the media is trying to portray it like that. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, think about it, bro. If a celebrity is breaking the oath, you know what I'm saying? And they're going against the elites, you know what I'm saying? And they're trying to tell us something that, you know, if we really dissect and really, like, you know what I'm saying, take our time and really, like, think about shit, we will start putting the pieces together and start taking over the masses. The media don't want, the masses don't want that. They want to keep us down there while they make all the money. You know what I'm saying? Because if we start thinking, what the fuck? All the music videos, all the, all that shit is going out the window. You know what I'm saying? They don't want that. Because all that grit the bow shit, killing black people, making more money. You know what I'm saying, bro? It's the money make this, this shit is evil, bro. That's really what you're trying to say. Just like when they try to make the other person look crazy. Um... David Chappelle, when he left Comedy Central, oh, he's smoking crack, he's crazy. Not fucking crazy. They're doing the same thing to Kanye. Think about it, bro. That shit is crazy. I just be born like rage. Fucking your bitch every day. Keep a pack, never hop in the jigs. Cashing out, fell in love with 